that's my room a lot of years ago and that's the very same room but right now as you can see a lot had changed but but one thing is still the same and that's the size of this room it's not really big and that's the problem for me I really have a lot in this room two 3d printers almost 20 kilograms of filament I think filmmaking gear electronic components computer almost everything that I use for my projects is here in this small room but one thing that I miss and I always wanted to have is a small table I don't have a table because there is no space for a table but I think I found a way to have a table here and also keep some space for me to, you know, move around. The other day I was in Ikea with my family just to buy some Christmas ornaments and small stuff and I saw this thing right here. This is Ikea Lock, probably the cheapest table that you can buy and it's still quite beautiful, very minimalistic and simple, just like almost any Ikea product. And I thought that maybe I will be able to improve this thing just a little bit with 3D printing. The idea is to add foldable legs to this table. Uh, initially I thought it would be a little bit tricky and hard to do because I thought that those legs are exactly the same length as the table but it turns out that those are a little bit shorter because you have this box right here. So it will be very simple to do with 3D printing. I just need to print uh, four hinges so that those legs will actually fold. And to be honest, I'm really surprised that there is no something like this at Ikea because it will simplify a lot uh, and it will be a great addition to the Ikea lock. So if you are working at Ikea and you want to cooperate on a product, let me know. I wanted to show you the standard assembly process but it's really not that easy to do without tools and I don't have any tools here because everything is in my workshop so let's go to the design here is the design as you can see uh, I have a table simple hinge uh, here's a little bit more detailed drawing of the hinge and this is how every leg will fold as you can see every leg is shifted by 19 degrees uh, to make it foldable I already made few prototypes just to see which one will work and how to do everything the tolerances and you know just polish this thing to make it perfect uh, and now let's jump to Fusion 360 and I will show you how this looks like in the design as always for any project that I'm doing for anything when it comes to CAD, CAM or renders I'm using Fusion 360 because this is the best software out there and here is my design very simple uh, as you can see we have a table we have four legs and here is the hinge it's basically the same thing for every leg as you can see that's how it looks like uh, using screws I will attach it to the table and also to the leg and here is how it works you can simply just fold the leg and put it back in place Just let me figure that out oh here we have it as you can see here we have a very simple locking mechanism so the design is just quite simple and that's how it looks like after opening all of the legs just like a normal table you don't even see the hinges from the outside and that's really good as I told you I already printed the prototypes of this hinge and as always I labeled every single design with a number so that I know which one is first, second and third one and as you can see it works kind of fine because you have to use some force in order to lock this thing and that's great uh, and basically every single one is quite similar right here I use different screws and right here I hide the screw so that it's not um, that visible when it will be attached to the table and that's pretty much it and here is the first final uh, printed with white PLA version of the hinge system I printed that on Ender 3 uh, and hopefully that will be good because I already also printed the rest of them it took about two hours to print one of the hinges uh, so that's together about eight hours and now we can simply attach this thing to the table the table is right here and we'll attach it to the table but I don't have screws to do it so I have to go to the store I've got these screws so we can start assembling now. Join 
two pieces of hinge I used M5 screw with quite small heads so that it's not really that visible and I had to sand down the holes in the hinge because actually I thought I will use smaller screws to attach this to the table um, but those are quite big so I had to sand them down um, but I will fix that and on Thingiverse you can find a proper STL file there is a link in the description so now you can simply attach this with some screws with big screws and also smaller screws to the lock table And here you have it, IKEA lock with foldable legs. Here it is, very simple to build and also very inexpensive because IKEA lock is inexpensive. And also 3D printing those hinges, uh, if you have a 3D printer it's not really that expensive. You can find the hinges on Thingiverse, there is a link in the description. Uh, there are also some useful links for you. And remember that if you work at IKEA and you would like to cooperate on something like this, uh, because I think it's a really cool addition to this table, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, keep making, bye!